think it's hard to imagine that 2017 will be worse than 2016. 2016 has been a very bad year for people on the ground, whether in northeast Nigeria or in Syria, and it's been a very tough year for the international system, epitomized by the Brexit result. So I'm going to be very careful about making predictions for 2017. What I hope is that 2017 is a year for restoration of the international system because there's no question that it needs it. Well, I think that 2017 is going to be very important uh, for uh, the beginning of the presidency of uh, a very particular president of the United States, Mr. Trump, and then for the elections in Europe. The Euro will have elections in France and we will have elections here in Germany. Those two elections are fundamental for the future of the European Union. I think we have not, unfortunately, reached the peak of crises. Everywhere we have crises uh, that are entrenched, will be persistent. I think there's going to be a major uh, challenge to security because we have so many new players coming in. So we have post-US elections with elections uh, coming up in Germany, in France, uh, potentially in Italy. Um, uh, at other countries, I think what we really have is a whole new set of players who have to find their way and feel one another out to see where their, where their greatest uh, strengths and weaknesses are, to work together to ensure that transatlantic unity is absolute and that they're working efficiently uh, to maintain, as I said, that very important, all important liberal international order. Again, we have to work out what our system of international security is. The uh, most important role which was played by the United States of America is being questioned. President Trump said, I don't want to get involved in all those wars. I don't want to get involved in trade. I don't want to get involved in TTP. If that's true, then a lot of burden goes back of, to us, to Europeans, to Asians. We have to rethink the system of international security I really, I really don't do predictions, and 2017 is too unpredictable. The range of outcomes is from very good uh, to very bad. Um, and I think um, we've always been surprised at the beginning of the Obama administration, nobody expected Crimea and Ukraine. No one expected ISIS or predicted it. So my guess is something will happen that we don't predict. But we, what we can do is be ready to respond as, as a community. And so I think the black swan event, the unexpected event, is the one that we should expect. Nobody at this point could say it's an opportunity for a new beginning. It's an opportunity for the United States and Europe to work together to resolve problems in the Middle East, to work out a new, more constructive relationship with Russia, to find a way uh, to engage the world's new rising superpower China, but that's a tall order and it'll be up to the leadership and the maturity of leaders on both sides of the Atlantic to make that happen.